Oh my god. Is that dude actually live? No, he's not. Yeah, he is. That's the crazy part. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Tune in for Ghost Recon. World premiere. What's up, Shade? Sorry, just checking my emails real quick before I start. From YouTube. Hi, Gaming Monkey. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Where do we leave off? I fought a troll, right? I think I fought a troll. But was badass. There's my son. Yeah, I think we're good. We are good. Boy, I hear your animal ahead. I knew it was a boar. That's right. We were looking for a boar. Said and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. You know, if there's one thing I gotta give it to this game, it's just the, ama the magical graphics that it has. And I heard another stupid bird. Where's that stupid green bird? Why do I keep hanging? Like if it's close. Stay alert. What are those is. people? Something else. Yo. Dude got slaughtered. Some of the bodies are those weird dead things. <laughs> oh, you were shooting at the door. Oh, I made him shoot at the door. I totally forgot that square makes him shoot the door. How do I fight as Kratos again? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got this, I got this. I got this. No, stop shooting. <laughs> oh, I'm so used to playing too. another game right now. They must have been fighting. Oh, shit. Atreus, follow me. Oh, you yeah. good. Don't worry about it. it ran under. Angel, what's up, Angel? What's Gucci? What's up, babe? Alright, come on. Don't fuck this up. You got this. I got it. Shoot the board. Elbow Shoot. up. Steady hand. Relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Well, do not lose it. Why didn't my other comments come up? Did you cuss at all? Because if you cussed... <laughs> Disney doesn't let people cuss anymore. That's the funny part. <gasps> ah! I don't like hearing my voice. I said poop. 
<laughs> no, for real, like, nothing popped up here. Like, it's literally just the comments that we see right now. There's nothing else. Like, it literally is, hey, monkey, hey, hello. Why didn't my other comments come up? That's, that's literally, that's all in my section. Boy. Oh, shit, what happened to my kid? Where are you? Hurry, father. Did you go this way? I found him. This way. Ugh. Shit, how do you jump over shit? Atreus! He's slowing down! Wait for me, boy! Father, over here! Atreus! No, I'm saying like that comment didn't even pop up. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. I don't remember this being in the game. So I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Great. This way. Hmm. I mean, you gotta give it to her. I mean, the boar with blue eyes, that's gorgeous. Look at that tattoos on him, too. Yellow. That bow is a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She had to go into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She's she dead. She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... What up, Kev? Sorry for your loss. I feel like I want to take the boar home and make it into a trophy and put it in my room. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. <gasps> I totally forgot. Her tree's a turtle. It's all right. Yes, I needed a haircut. Looks like a hobo. Oh, that's so awesome. Why can't I live underneath a turtle? Is he friendly? Boy. I promise you, he's safe. Look at that. So you gotta admire games like this. The quality and the graphics. Look at this dude. Anyone? Look at the detail in this guy, man. I wish I can touch it. Oh, oh, Quickly. oh. Place him on the stave there. I know how to deal with this. Keep him still. Get me a grill, three plates, some barbecue sauce, three forks, a knife, and a machete. It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy, 
Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Shh. Easy. Rest now. It's dead. It's dead. I need two more things. Fresh red root grows just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? I love how he like looks at Kratos first to like Can I what do else? it? You know, like he's like, oh no. I I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. God, that moment you want to just ruin the game for everyone. Me. I also need lamb's grass. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's Chris. Oh my god. If only she knew who I really was and what I've done. Okay, where the hell do I get Lamb's Chris from? What's up, man? I like her. I mean, she lives under a turtle. You are too open with her. We do not know if she can be trusted. That's true. She hasn't tried to kill us. Yet. Where do I get Lamb's Christ from? Lamb's Christ? Huh. Lamb's Christ, Lamb's Christ. On this side, no? Yep. Oh, I wanted to get more. Oh, Atris. Where'd he go? Can you help? Oh, there he is. I can't quite get it. <sighs> Would this help? How the hell did you cut your hand? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it, then... You did lose it. It's a hardcore dad right there. I'll take better care of it from now on. <laughs> oh my god. I just love how Kratos acts in this game. Just eat it. How oh, exactly what I need. So he's gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from those who might make your journey difficult. <laughs> Would you guys trust a random witch to put a mark on the back of your neck? Luina. Snaps her fingers, we're all dead. Has anybody seen Avengers yet? There's a shortcut below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? 
As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come oh boy. Dude, that movie's fucking awesome, dude. This underground passage should put you back on your path to the mountain. Just use the boat. Wait, and take this. You can use it to orient yourself and navigate the world. It will always steer you towards your goals. Dope. Could always use more health. Not gonna lie to you, during Avengers I cried. Now cried we'll like get to the mountain bitch. quick. I just can't believe I'm here. And always. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Or even my own beds. You were not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that. It's Thor. Thor, God of Thunder. That's right. I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. Baldur, that's the dude we fought. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? Baldur is the dude we fought. Oh! I can't quite make it out. The end was badass. It was. It really was. They did an amazing job at the end. It reads, Sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? Oh, shit. You know, it's been so long that I haven't played this damn game. Bring on, boy. Thank you, appreciate that. Of him now. The water dropped, 
And the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look when I first saw him, I was like, dang, I have to, to face that. Temple. Dude, I was the same way. When he, like, popped up, I was like, all right, Except I've killed statue. Titans before. Yeah, I've killed not. gods before. I think I can kill a giant-ass snake. Hey, but it's like, try. nah, you're friendly, dude. Don't worry about it. And you're like, come on. I think that's one We're thing that this game first, right? lacked we'll was, like, more epic boss fights. You know of that serpent. He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looks pretty big to me. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. If I got something for you too. <laughs> sexy. Bro? But how did you? Yeah, I was hearing that there's a. I heard that there was a talk for a second one, and that the second one is supposed to have like more epic boss fights, like. I saw it first. Like more like killing and shit like that. That's why I was like, yo, like please bring more. Cause that's the one thing I feel like it really lacked. Like the story, amazing. The graphics, amazing. The characters, amazing. The fighting, fantastic. But what it really lacked was those epic boss fights you would get from like since the first God of War. You watch. You know what I'm talking about? Like where you would fight like big ass bosses and you were like, oh You're shit, and you were like, like pound them in, take off their heads, rip their arms off, their legs, you know what I'm saying? Like that, I feel like this is what this game is missing, you know what I mean? But then again, if you think about it, it's kind of bringing that amp of, we're catch. back, so it's kind of like a catch me up, you know, more like a here. welcome to God of War, this that is what we have planned, just wait for part you two, it's gonna be fucking amazing. Door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see him out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do... I feel never, like it was a balance never, the director said ever, they wanted to change never, it a bit. Ever throw yourself no, I mean, and I get it, but they should have kept, like... Because the way they did it, like, this is awesome. Like, the fighting, know. I love it. Like, the way, literally the way it looks, third person over the shoulder, like, like, hardcore shit like this, like, it's amazing. The story's amazing. I love the little, like, you know, the little strolls of them talking, like, I love it. I just feel like there should have been more boss fights. I feel like the more boss fights, it would have just been fucking amazing. Because I think what, I think they even counted it that there's only, like, because you fight... I don't want to spoil it if anybody ends in it, but you fought this guy. You fight... Who's after this? Another big boss fight. You oh fight... God. Um... Oh shit, I didn't even see these guys. Oh shit. Don't forget about dudes that blow up. Can't wait for that shit. I love this little feature if I'm being honest. Okay, it's not letting me break it. Oh damn! Thank you. Tower leads through to I know I saw that the whole ghost recon thing Isaac bro, you're not supposed to spoil shit here, bro <laughs> What if people haven't seen it dog? But nobody answered, bro. You can't just you. go around saying shit. Come back the cipher. Oh my god. What is that? Awful. Poison. Still, bro, you're not supposed to spoil shit. That's just the rule. Some guy got his ass kicked for spoiling the movie. <laughs> Literally, some guy got his ass kicked spoiling the movie. Oh. 
I'm pretty sure Kevin heard about that one. Right, Kev? I'm pretty sure you heard about that shit. Came out of the movie theater talking about the whole movie and shit. And fucking people jumped him. I feel like that shit was funny because it came out all like oh yeah this happens this happens like get prepared and shit like that and fucking just got him right there coming out of the boom <laughs> hey it's a fragment of a language cipher we should look for more like this i know that's cool brothers just when it comes down to spoilers you got to be a little bit more careful i'm being dead honest like some people get pissed off for spoilers like, I'm, I'm not even kidding, bro. Like, like, people will get fucking pissed. It's crazy people. Oh, shit. I was supposed to go that way. That's why I fucking hate this game. Oh, what were those things? They smell awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how I to say I love so that. damn. What's up, man? What? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. When you don't read mine? Oh, about the you haven't... You haven't seen it thing? Babe, but you have seen it. You're making fun of me. That I was crying. At the movie theater. Whoa. Sure World War Z here. and Days Gone. Bro, I haven't played either or... And I really want to buy Days Gone, but I'm probably gonna have to wait for my birthday. And I'll probably stream it if I get it. I'll probably stream Days Gone. No consequence. Uh, excuse me, but um, how did you come by that uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And uh, while I won't dispute that, I I know that blade. It was one of ours, but uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See the woman we made it for. I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <laughs> you yeah, did you something said you to haven't, her. You haven't seen it. It was my mother's. She Jesus, left it to father before comments. she died. Face dead. I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Yeah, you, but I haven't seen it. She was a fierce warrior, and a good woman. Okay. I know you've been playing Days Gone, Kevin. I How's Days Gone? I make improvements to the axe. Days Gone is legit. I can't stop playing it, but and you thinking about getting me. World War Z? Yes! Well, it's, I do want to get true, World but, War Z. But knowing your mother, Ugh, it's just like, bro, I gotta pick either or. I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my... Bro. Never mind. Gotcha. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. He really can't stop <laughs> playing. Even I get ignored. Level. <laughs> Do not undo his work. <laughs> Improve upon it sure. only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. But can, you, can you put it down over there? That handle is no. filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. It happens oh. when you guys get new games. Hey, but at least we're out oh. there partying, doing stupid oh, shit. We're at home, oh. playing so a video game. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits well, a think treasure of it trove of rare resources. Can with friends Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it solo. all down. Days Can you know gone. how to fix it? it would Not be yourself, even a little. But good story. I know. I really want to do it so bad. Like I want to play it so bad. Betray us to me. Shit. Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Gotcha. Motherfuckers. That was good, right? You must learn efficiency, boy. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. No, we're not staying forever. <laughs> Where'd the witch go? And I guess I have to wake up early. Good luck for the game. Thanks, man. Oh, bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch, you can fucking swim. This fucking bitch moves fast. Lock the bitch. I'm not ready. Bro, you gotta be more ready than that, dog. Come on now. What's cause she's hiding away on the poison, like a fucking bitch. Alright, cool, you got her. Good job. I taught you well, son. I taught you well. Keep that shit up. Magically locked. Oh, I think that's a Valkyrie one. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting her. It would serve you to stop talking. What else do we got? What else do we got? What I wouldn't do to be able to move shit like Kratos. That's what I mean, Kevin. Like, that would have been a dope ass moment. I take it back. Ready yourself. Yo, 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 show the fuck out. Oh. Fist the cup this bitch. 
Good shit, Atreus. Good shit, buddy. I know we fucking got this. Okay. Here? Who built this place? It's fucking insane. No, I'm, they're all dope moments, but like, I'm talking about like, you know how I used to have to press triangle, square, circle to get out of shit? Whoa. I miss that. I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Here we go. Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch. Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. We're being we're being followed. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic. Even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is yes, strong your point. enough to bring. Yes, you're pointing. I've been posting it. some glitch vids on YouTube. But that road is long. Glitches of what? This game. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. You know what? I'm not gonna ask. I just gotta click on your name. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. Can't wait to check these out. Subscribe. Oh, yeah. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. Dude, I ain't judging, bro. I support every type of creator, no matter what they're creating. Whether it be makeup, whether it be funny glitched videos, whether it be non-stop funniness. We'll I, use this. I approve this message. Greythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. There. Dude, this weird guy just subbed. Name Gaming Monkey. Dude, that guy's weird. I wouldn't trust him, bro. Fuck that guy. I sometimes Here's love throwing the axe the just to see where it lands. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, so it's no longer underwater. Chuck it. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Okay, I think I see it. Soon after, Thor well, attacked, probably about maybe. And their battle could be felt across all the realms. Is that my axe stuck right Ultimately, there? Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate. Damn, it was. I should have left Thor it. returned to Odin empty-handed. <gasps> the see if I can find my axe. grew so large, he now scans okay, cool. all landed. of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other, come Ragnarok. You believe in Bro, Ragnarok? you know, they keep talking about Ragnarok in this game. I didn't. You think they're gonna be Ragnarok? Like, imagine, like, that's the final boss in the game. Like, the big you know, fucking overlord of destruction. 
You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages. Even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, Where's my I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be wrong with it. I know I threw it around here. Right? Or am I going crazy? I feel like I threw it. Okay, let me just back up. Fuck, it was back there. I think that's like the one thing I did in this game is just chuck the axe at random points. On day, yeah, uh, some guy Watch your saw step. one of my videos and wanted just to along post here. You sure? on his you channel as before and there's no way one of those montage See? of funny is things. That so? Did you let him? Did you give him permission let or were you like, something. nah, Brad, my footage exclusive. Are you watching? Leos. What? It's solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait. It won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. I let loops. him. He said what tomorrow kind of it will be it? posted. It's did he tell you where? Oh, like, like, did he give you, know you his it? channel? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanier gods. I'm gonna comment on your part just of the video and be like, I know that guy. I know him. Personally. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Here, boy. Another one. Look! It's the world serpent. <laughs> He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. Yo, maybe in the second game. Yeah, I will send you the screenshot. Fuck yeah, dude. And then for sure, for sure, no, no bullshit. I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna be like, that guy K Pile on uh, 5 minutes and 30 seconds? I know that, dude. I'm gonna be like, great creator, big channel, follow him. Big Here's dick as well. No lie. Built with help from the giants. Great gear used it to travel the nine realms and yes, I got the bird. between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Where we go? We're attacked. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails have been full of people. Got it. Now all have hid or fled. Save for the reavers. Savage enough to survive in such a world. Oh, there's the big guy right there. Look at him. I bet you anything, like, because you know how he saw that little, like, sign thing of, like, oh, look, he bit Thor, or he's going Make to. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Bet you anything. Bet you anything this will fucks up Thor in the next game. Guaranteed. I missed. She's going on the boat with us? I don't remember her getting on the Take boat. Those stairs down and hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. Left I'm doing it. Yourself. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Yeah, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. Good. Lift the axle. Now push it back into place. <laughs> now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. You know, I never thought about this, but whatever happened to the people in God of position. War? Like, Tired yet? No. you know what I mean? Like, you never you see other strong. people. Like, humans. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. By what? They're not all dead, are they, Kev? I mean... Dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. Because every time you see, play one of these games, it's just gods, demons, demigods. Something or someone has met oh, you know what? There are humans, right? Yeah, I remember fighting them here, but that then they, like, turn into sure. demons. 
sorry. Like a bunch of questions are just coming That's through. Perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Did I hurt my back? Wait. So did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. I move water like that all the time. <laughs> I bet you you do. Remember, they're in Asgard, so it's just Jesse Gods and the other God of Wars. They die, Lefala, before you get there or you kill them. Your bowstring stopped glowing. But I mean, that makes you think, though, right? Like, why are the dwarves alive? You know what I'm saying? Only like, a few knocks of magic remained in the bow How come there's not one them? human that's like, oh, I need your help, you know? Like, come do this your bow, please. for me. And you can't say that Kratos and this Once chick are humans. Time, you know what I'm saying? Because they have powers. I'm talking about, like, normal warrior humans. I mean, for crying it's out loud, like I'm a god. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? Oh, so I've got dark. a screenshot. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Not bad. Can't wait to see it. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the world tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The tree of life is bound to the fate of the world. That's a beautiful just tree. Just as we are bound to it. Imagine having that decor the in the middle of your house, like as people walk into your house. From its leaves, that's the first thing they see. And is the world tree from the God tree's of War? The very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. <laughs> That's some bullshit I have in my house. Woven into the tapestry of life, birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand that would be awesome. Time, <laughs> transcending space. It's like yeah, dude, come to my house. It's Everything totally fucking fine. You open the door and it's like just a big ass tree. So, you see the cool blue lights going up and down, works. blue circle just going you like in circles and collecting like answer. like cool yes. looking little floaty souls Very and shit. Well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. See, this is another shit that tripped me out, bro. Like, if you if you spin Every it, Every realm has a travel room that fuck. unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. Oh, <laughs> hope it's the <a> prime. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that'd be fucking awesome. But like, this is what I mean. I think one of these actually say uh, Valhalla, like to go see Odin and shit. And like, no bullshit. I spent hours thinking like, oh shit, there's probably a key hidden in the game somewhere. We're ready. Remember like, to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. I need to go and find that key now so I can go kick the shit out of Odin and Thor and all these and motherfuckers. The between realms. Nothing showed up. But I mean, like, that's that's what I don't understand. Like, in the second game, do you think it's like, like you're just gonna continue on from where you left off? Crystal? You know what I'm saying? Like, Each realm has your a cool armor and shit. That focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost. Opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. But like, that's what I mean, like, come on, tell me that when you read it, you weren't like, oh shit, I can go there? Like, we can throw it down right now? Like, let's do it. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of all time. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black bread go away? With the captured light. Welcome to Alfheim, fuckers. Where the plants might eat you, we don't know yet, so don't touch anything. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get your own. I think they did that as like, hey, if this hmm. game does good, this is what you can look She's forward to. She... May I, yeah, I, I agree with you on that me. shit. I, I agree. Um. But I kind of left you with like, like honestly, this game leaves you with a bunch of questions like, yo, like, am I gonna fucking throw it down with these dudes or look not? Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. I think you killed it. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it. Why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. <laughs> Oh, this is the one level that I fucking hate the most. Oh, oh. Try to shoot again, bitch. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. Yeah. Something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to wait, is that Sindri? Atreus to me. <laughs> These dudes be traveling all over the world. Here before us, dwarf. We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. 
where to comb the realms for exotic resources, how to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sure. Thanks. What'd you say? I said nothing. What the hell are you hearing? Really? Okay. I'm trying to remember who you're Did listening to. Did your mother speak to. of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, we kept them isolated. Sweet. I'll take any type of upgrades I can. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Wait, this one you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. It's not creepy at all. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Oh man, I really hate this level. Don't like the flying dudes. Not a lot of, that was my kid in real life. I would have been like, uh, get a priest. Look at that. That must be the ring temple. I would have just been like, bro, we need to take you to church for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This is where I'm supposed to stop. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet, within you, I am life most pure. But, I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. You know what I'm really waiting for? A good scary game to come out. Something that'll just blow the shit out of my mind where I'm just like, fuck, I shouldn't have bought this game. You know? I'm really looking to get a horror game. I just can't... Find one. I feel like I've played everything. It's sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful the blue door? That's gotta be the entrance. I think Let's go. they haven't made anything new. That's the thing that sucks. Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. I'm telling huh? you, place scary VR. Reinforcements. Bro, I don't got a VR headset, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you can block the axe? Not that long, can you? Bro, if I played VR, bro, that's what I told Jack. I, I told you you could borrow mine. But it's because we don't got the same games, bro. I had to buy one, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have to actually Maybe buy a scary game. Okay, so that did something. I think. Enemies ahead! Shit. 
shit, I can't work on it because these guys are coming. Are you kidding me? Do you know how chicken shit I'd be playing that shit? Fucking shit myself, dude. We do not belong here. Was that? I heard that it, it's like very nauseous as shit when you play VR games. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come back to the sand bowl. I mean, I'll give it a shot, but. What's that? No promises. <laughs> it is, but you get used to it after a while. Bro, I don't think y'all want to be seeing me like, like all fucking throwing up, dude. It's sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but. War makes it ugly. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. What does it say? Draw it. <sighs> Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices. Less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. <laughs> Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Yes. The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Shit, I forgot that shit blew up. I blocked it. Can I block that with the shield? I think I can. Woo! The only thing is that the camera is reading the headset, not recording you, so it doesn't show you, it shows what you're looking at, and what else, and, and, there's an and, there's an and, I knew there was an and. Think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. There's an and, man. What's the end? You were wrong back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. 
She is on gone, my screen boy. while I play. Speak no more of this. So like on the visor itself, oh. it'll show the comments, like as I'm playing? Is that what you're telling me? Get on that side. Oh. Hold on, boy. Fight. Yeah, as you play, they pop up. So that means like while I'm playing the game, it's going to be like on the side, or on the bottom, on the top. Or is it going to like go by like, <laughs> you know, I said like, like a little newscaster thing like, -na 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 you know what I mean? Like, that was funny. <laughs> oh, it'd be great if it did that shit. That'd be fucking awesome. Could you imagine that? Just I'm just saying though, like, can you go out and the outside thing? Like, fucking just saying. In other news, <laughs> Game Monkey gets just shit his pants in part one of Resident Evil 7. Oh shit. Well, aren't they making a Resident Evil 8? Supposedly there's rumors for Resident Evil 8. That'd be fucking so sick to play. I think the last, and that's the thing Resident Evil 2 was not scary, it's just more intense. Resident Evil 7. That was fucking horrifying. I feel because it was like first person, so you really didn't have like a lot of shit like to move around with. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like Resident Evil Seven was the scariest. Yeah, there is, but not for a while. Because <laughs> I heard, I, I, do you consider Resident Evil Two to be the last scary game I played? I don't think so, because it wasn't scary. Like, like oh my god, like I don't want to play it anymore. Like. Because I know when I played Outlast 2, I was a bitch. I could have not play Outlast 2. Even even you guys were telling me to take a break because I looked like I was about to get a heart attack. Um, which one else I was fucking losing my shit about? I know. Oh, Emily wants to play? Fuck that. What else? I think that's... Alien? You mean Alien Isolation? So you think Alien was probably the scariest game I've played on this channel so far? I feel like Alien was fucking terrifying. I feel like Alien made me shit my pants. Like, I really do think Alien was probably, like, at the very top of my scary list. Like, this, uh, did I play it this year? I think I did, right? Yeah, this year. Yeah, Alien was fucking, no, I think I played it last year. No, it was last year. Yeah, but I think Alien is at the very top of, like, the most, like, holy shit, like, it was like one of those games that leaves everybody at the at the edge of their seats. Like, fuck, is he gonna get out? Is he gonna be stuck at this level? And like, the sound effects in the background going off. You're just like, shit. Like, I don't want to do this right now. Um, I want to play more scary games because that's what I'm mostly known for is me screaming like a little bitch. Um, I gotta find more scary games. Like, I really have to find more shit to play. There's just nothing right now at the moment. Like. 
I've looked it up so many times on the internet. I've looked it up to see who's making the next scary game. Yeah, scary game. Yeah, see, and that's why I feel like, like, I'm not saying I'm losing, like, like, I just, I, like, not, I don't, I don't want to say it in a mean way. Like, I'm not losing, like, motivation to do YouTube. Like, I love doing it, but I just have more fun playing scary games. Because not only am I involved, but everyone else is, and everyone's like, yo, like, like for Alien, you know, you guys were like, oh, this is the code, or, bro, go back to the other corridor, hey, and check this out, like, hey, watch out, I think he's behind you, you know, like, everybody is fucking involved, like, nobody's left out, and when it comes to, like, I love playing God of War, I love playing Spider-Man, but when it comes to those games, it's just more like, eh, it's alright, it's not scary, but it's alright, it'll manage to keep us afloat, um, God, I just wish I had a good scary game to play, man. That's the only thing I'm looking for. And, like, I've looked everywhere, everywhere, and there's nothing, nothing. I always put new scary games for 2019, and nothing pops out. And you know what it gives me the most? It gives me a lot of PC games. But most of the PC games kind of suck. Like, there's really nothing that you can actually go and be like... See, and, and then, like, it, it like, like, I'm, like, right now there's a list, right? It, like, right here there's there's a list of, like, our most anticipated horror games of 2019, okay? So check this out. This, this is what pisses me off. Like, okay, for example, Absolve, End of Gods, PC. The Beast Inside, and there's a fucking scary dude with, like, crying eyes. Like, he has no eyes? And it's running down black blood. PC. The Dark Pictures Anthology. Man of Medan. 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 I don't know. Meat. I don't know. That one's for PlayStation 4. I gotta check that one out. But like, look at this shit. Like, this is the shit that pisses me off. Horror game. Dead Island 2. It's not scary. Like, that's not... I don't consider that type of game to be like in a horror list you know like it's not scary i feel like those type of games are more like i would put them in a fun category to do with your friends like yo let's go fuck shit up with zombies or what you know what i mean like dead island 2 not a scary game we've all played dead island we've all survived it it's not scary yes it's a little frustrating and tedious because there's a bunch of ass fucking uh uh zombies coming at you and you gotta like swing and survive and shit like that dying light one or two now see here's the thing Dying Light 1 wasn't that scary. It wasn't. And, and and here's why. During the day, it was fucking fun to be running around. Just fucking falling ass, jumping buildings. Looking like a badass doing parkour. Like, because my fat ass can't do parkour. I wish I could. So I played that game to feel like I could do parkour. Um, the only time it was scary, and no lie, this is the time that I would explore just to get a, like a rush, was at nighttime because of the hunters. Oh my god, I loved running away from those dudes and like hiding and like, like I would climb up a building, that fool was already up there waiting for like to scratch me and throw me off the fucking building, like, that was insane. Now Dying Light 2, it looks like it's gonna be a little, like a little different, cause they say that the zombies only hide like in the darkness, like in shadows, like, you know what I'm saying? So like if you think about it, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be missions where it's like, Hey man, like we need, and I'm like guaranteed this is gonna be a mission. Like no bullshit, and you know I'm not lying because it's every zombie game. We need medical supplies. Here's the catch, though. You see that abandoned old creepy ass building all the way in the very very back that you have to go through through some people, and you gotta sneak your way in. Yeah, they're not gonna tell you. They're gonna be like, we just need medication. We need you to get it from that building. You have to fight people along the way, kill some real people, gunfight, blah blah blah, stab people, stealth around if you want to. But once you get inside the fucking building. I guarantee it. There's one scene in the trailer for Dying Light 2 where all the zombies are standing fucking like still. I don't know if you guys have seen it. They're like standing like they're, like they're all facing that. Like like if you guys seen I Am Legend, like where they just hide in the darkness and shit. Like that's how I feel Dying Light 2 is gonna be. But they're all just standing like this. And then in the trailer, the character moves like a little bit because he's running away. So he makes it into like a window. He jumps in and he comes back up. And then he sees all the zombies with his flashlight and he stays still. And you can see like a bunch of zombies just standing still like looking down. They're not moving. They're not, you know, they're not active. And then he makes a quick noise. And then out of nowhere, you see this big ass zombie like he pushes like a bunch of them off. And then all of them start coming at you. And you're like, what the fuck did I just see? Laugh out loud. True. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. That's going to be a mission. And that's how they're going to. Honestly, I feel like that's how they're going to introduce the zombies. 
You know, that's how they're going to introduce them. Hey, we need you to get this, this, and that. Make sure you get to this building. You'll be fine. We haven't heard of any, like, there's zombies in that area. Fuck no. There's going to be, like, a cool fucking chase scene. You're going to jump out the fucking window, you know, like a fucking badass. There's going to be a scene where you look back like, what the fuck? And you're going to see a bunch of zombies fucking burning up in the sunlight, falling down and shit. And then you're going to, like, you know how they did that scene where he puts the knife through the big ass, uh, like that banner shit and he's like sliding down and like slow down and shit. You're gonna be looking back like that, like what the fuck? And you're gonna land and then some dude on the walkie's gonna come on and go, Sorry about that. It looks like we really didn't check that building. But thanks again for the medical supplies. Make sure to bring them back. And you're gonna be like, Alright, bitch. Bet. <laughs> you wanna see if I can survive. I bet you anything. I bet you anything. That's gonna be a mission. I guarantee it. Like, some of these games are kind of predictable nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Especially zombie games. Every zombie game has a mission. We need medical supplies. We need you to go out there and find them. Don't worry. There's no zombies in the area. You'll be fine. You go to the fucking area. Some sound goes off. You shoot accidentally in a gun and it comes into a fucking cutscene. Or a bad guy comes in and makes too much noise and they blow something up. Something goes fucking wrong. They smell you. Or the time of day changes as you're fucking approaching that area and you're like, I'm about to get my ass rocked. I'm about to see the zombies in fucking action. You know what I mean? Like, it always happens. It's, 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 just, it's just being honest. Um, I'm fucking like ranting right now and shit. It's fucking hilarious. The Peterson case. I've seen trailers of this. It looks like a detective type of a uh, vibey, you know, horror type of shit. See, like, and then they classify Resident Evil 2 as a horror game for 2019. I'm just like, bro, no, it's not, bro. It's not scary, bro. Um, La Fala, there's always Last of Us 2. Bro, oh my god, bro. I totally forgot about it. See, but that game's not scary. It's not scary. It's not a horror game, but it's a badass fucking game to play. Guarante I'm gonna stream the shit out of that. The whole campaign, I'm gonna do fucking badass. It's gonna be, it's gonna be dope. I can see like that one, that one being amazing. That one's gonna be great. That's just a great fucking game. Uh, the Sinking City. I saw this one. Kind of a weird vibe, you know. It's giving that whole like under the city type of Atlantis type of shit. I saw tentacles come out and fucking mermaids fucking singing. I was like, huh, this kind of fucking seems kind of cool in the trailer. But then I saw some gameplay, and it reminded me of Dishonored a little bit. Like, the visuals and shit. Like, you were looking at them, and you're like, huh, like, these dudes look kind of fucking weird, bro. Like, they don't look like characters' characters. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they look dope. Like, the, the, the trailer looked like, holy shit, I'm going to be fighting fucking sea monsters. Because he wakes up, the city's all, like, he's not underwater, but the city's, like, drenching in water. Like, if the city just came up. And he goes and explores, the, like, around the block and shit. And then you like make it to like a top of a building. And then he, he like he like opens the door. And as he opens the door, he sees his body on the ground. And he's like, what the fuck? And then a tentacle comes out, fucking attacks him. And he's shooting him with a fucking Tommy gun. So you know it's one of those games that's like based in the old fucking days. You know what I'm saying? Like where they fucking time travel or some shit. I don't know. Fucking shoots shit out of tentacles. Tentacles grab him. They drag him underwater and he dies. And then the double that he saw of himself wakes up. And is like... <sighs> Same shit, just boom, wakes up, and then he's like, what the fuck? And then the guy that picked up his hat, you know, the first guy that put on a hat, his hat fell because he got picked up with the tentacles. So he sees his hat like, oh, that's my hat. He puts on his hat, and he does the same shit again. And I was like, yo, this is going to be one of those games, like, if you fuck up, you have to redo it again, you have to go through the whole scene. But no, it's an RPG game. I was like, what the fuck, bro? That's confusing as shit. Uh, Unholy PC, of course. Um, See, like, right here, they put it, Dying Light 2. A horror game. I fully fucking agree with that one. Because I feel like Dying Light 2 is going to be fucking amazing. That's just that's just me being honest. It's going to be fucking amazing. Um, there's, there's so much shit that's going to go down. Like, I can feel it in my bones. There's so much crap I want to play too. Like, I was going to totally fucking do... Uh, uh, I, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Uh, Visage is what it's called, I believe. I wanted to do Visage so bad. Because it's it, it, it looks fucking... It looks insane. Like, it looks... It looks amazing. Now, here's the thing, though. Visage is actually based... Well, they sort of based it on... And I'm pretty sure, for those of you hardcore horror fans out there... Um, do you guys remember that amazing uh, PT demo? Please fucking tell me some of you tried it out. I managed to get my hands on it and try it out. Um, but it's literally called uh, PT. Spoiler alert, because it's never going to happen, which I'm fucking mad about it. Um, Silent Hill. They were going to make a brand new Silent Hill with Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. When I saw that trailer, when I played the demo and I made it at the end and then it shows Norman Reedus 
walking. Like, you know, it shows... It's first person throughout the whole game. And there's some weird shit going around the house. And you're like, oh, what the fuck? But you're going in a circle. It's just a circle in the house. But every time you go in that circle, something different happens. You know, the first circle that you go through, it's fucking normal. Nothing's going on. The house is beautiful. You Boom. Second door, the radio's on. It's talking about some dude killing his wife. Blah, blah, blah. Numbers. 24377, seven, whatever. And then you go around the third time and it's like, oh, yeah. He grabbed a shotgun, loaded that bitch, aimed it at his wife. Boom. Loaded it again. Boom. His daughter. Boom. And then he, like, killed his whole family. And then you're like... Whoa, what the fuck happened? Like, that's fucking crazy. And you keep going and going and going. And then, like, the house gets darker. And then you hear a baby in the restroom that you can't open the door for. And you're like, huh, do I want to go in that door? Fuck that. You go around, the door's fucking slightly open like a little bitch, you know, like a little crack. And you're like, hmm, maybe I should take a gander and see what the fuck is on the other side. Because, I mean, curiosity kills the cat. So you fucking go in there, open the little crack of the door, and you're like, huh, let me see what the fuck. And then a bitch comes the fuck out of nowhere and is like, Whoa! And she closes the door and I, I got a heart attack. I was like, oh, what the fuck? I had to turn off the game. I got scared as fuck. I turned it off that part. Um, you know, and then you keep fucking going again and again. And then the house gets all weird and shit. Like, it gets dark. And then the paintings have an eyeball. And the eyeballs are, like, looking at you. Like, oh, bitch. Like, we see you. And you're like, oh, I see you too. And you keep going. And then finally, you get to a point where, like, it's dark. And it looks like you're using night vision and shit. And that bitch that scared you in the crack of the restroom... She's on crack, and she's standing at the end of the hallway, and she's, like, twitching and shit, like, like those video things. Like, you know how, like, back in the old school videos, are like, like that and shit, and you're like, whoa. And you kind of get close, and then she's like, whoa, 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 and she, like, passes you, and you're like, oh, what the fuck? And then you run forward, you go through the door, and then you keep going, but then... If you listen closely, right? I was, I was going to point at my ear, but my ear's being covered by a headset. If you listen closely... Well, you know when you walk, it's only supposed to be two fucking steps. It's like, boom, 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 right? You can hear it in the game. It's like, I don't know how to make the sound effect for wood and shit with footsteps. But it's like, boom, boom, boom. You know how you walk, fucking, you hear your own shit walking. It's two steps. If you listen closely, it's one, two, three, four. And you're like, huh, I don't remember having four fucking legs. You know, you keep walking. At first, I ignored it because I was like, oh, it's probably like some glitch in the fucking game. And I went through the door. <laughs> and when I went through the door, it got louder. You know, like, boom, boom, my footsteps. And then, boom, boom, quick quick little pat-pats at the end. Like, pat-pat. You know, and you're like, huh. That, that doesn't sound right. Uh, maybe I should turn around. And I remember I was like, should I fucking turn around? Or should I not turn around? I was like, I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to keep going. And I remember I did, like, five turns and nothing happened in the house. Like, nothing happened. I was like, fuck, I got to turn around. So I, like, walk at the end of the hallway. And I hear the boom, 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 boom. I was like, what the so I fucking like I'm a badass I'm like hey nothing behind me I turn around this bitch grabs you and like <gasps> sucks your face off like a dementor and then it fucking cuts off to that scene of like Norman Reedus walking out in the sidewalk with fucking rain all badass and shit like it's gonna be another walking dead game and he just turns around and he's like and it keeps going and at the end it's like silent house and you're like holy shit a lot of us are about to lose our shit not just because of that but because of Hideo Kojima taking over bro and then Fucking, what's that fucking dude's name? Guillermo del Toro working on the horror part? I was like, dude, that motherfucker's gonna scare the shit out of me. But it never happened. It never happened, and it pissed me off. Layers of Fear is supposed to be good, and I believe it's PlayStation 4. Believe it or not, I think I had a buddy of mine tell me that Layers of Fear was probably a good game to stream. I might do that. I'm not too sure. I have to look into it because I might be too much of a bitch to play it. PT sounds like my old job left a lot of always going in a circle. <laughs> Laugh out loud, he's still with Kojima. No, I know that. I'm Death Stranding. No, but imagine I'm fucking Silent Hill. Like, imagine how scared we'd fucking be. Like, two great minds working on the most horrible thing you can fucking think. And that's the thing. Silent Hill wasn't that type of game. Like, it, guys, Silent Hill was scary. Even for, like, the old graphics for PlayStation 2. And I don't want nobody to be here to be like, it wasn't scary. It wasn't scary. It was just surviving and running. No, fuck you. That shit gave me nightmares as a kid playing it. I remember still when I was, what? I was probably like in elementary, 6th grade, 5th grade when I first heard of Silent Hill. And uh, I used to go to my dad over there in Dallas. So I'd spend time with him. And my cousin had every PlayStation 2 game you can think of. Like, he had it all. He had like the most beautiful collection you can think of. He had a trunk full of PlayStation 2 games. A trunk full. And this dude would pop it open. And he'd be like, what do you want to play, dog? I got the latest. Like, he was like a drug dealer. He was like, I got the latest shit right now. What do you want to play? 
My go-to game for PlayStation 2 was always Def Jam Fight for New York City. If you guys ever played that one, fucking great game. I highly recommend it. Uh, shout out to the producers. They should make a remaster immediately. Uh, <laughs> but I remember playing that game, and we would only play it at nighttime. And I wouldn't play it because I was too much of a bitch at the time. So I was like, bro, you take over. I'll watch. I was always a watcher. You know, I was always a, I was a backseat gamer back in the day where I was just like, bro, you do you, bro. I'll take care of you from the back, all right? And I had a pillow and shit. I was like, fuck that. No, uh-uh. And the game was so... It, it's, it's, like, scary. It fucks with you mentally. Like, you gotta think, like, fuck. Like, do I pick up this item? You know, do I not pick up this item? Should I go in that door? And then the, the part that fucked with me, like, as a kid, and no bullshit, like, was the... I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. There's nurses, and they move to sound. Like, they're blind. Like, their face is, like, twisted. It kind of looks like a vanilla ice cream cone when you get at Peter Piper. You know how it's like the little swirly shit? But it's on their fucking face and it's like that. And then it's like a little pointy point. And then they have a little mask on. And then their ears. It's like if somebody drilled shit in it. And it's like it's just a circle. But the nurses stand very still. Like they're they're like that. like like. And then if you make a noise, they're like... And then they stop if you stop. And you're like... And I remember me and my cousin were like, What the fuck do we do, bro? If we fucking move, they come after us. My cousin was like, I'm not a bitch. He was a bitch, but he never admitted to being a bitch because he was like a little bit older than me. Um, but I remember that's, that's, that's the shit that, that's the shit that fucked with me as a kid forever. Like that, that, I had nightmares on those bitches for like the longest fucking time. I remember I couldn't sleep. And then they'd be like, we're going to a hospital. I was like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to go to a hospital. Nah, fuck that. I was scared of hospitals because of that same reason. I thought those bitches were there. Like. I'm not even fucking around. Like, if y'all think I'm playing, I'm not fucking playing. Those nurses were scary. Like, they were terrifying as fuck. Like, the way they moved and shit. And then they, like, they had, like, like their, you know, like, the little forceps and shit. Like, if they were about to do surgery, like, helping the doctor. And they'd move, like. And you fart. You know, and you're like, oh, no, no. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I'm good. I remember I walked out of the room. I got so scared, I started kind of crying because I was like, yo, fuck that, dude, we should turn it off. And he was like, we got this, we got this. And he had to, you had to, like, throw, I think you could throw cans to make a noise, and they would go towards the noise. But, like, they would, like, they'd be facing you like this, right? Like, like let's pretend you're playing the game and I'm the nurses. They'd be facing you like that, like, waiting for you to fuck up. Like, that, that was the shit, just waiting. And you would throw the can and they would go, <sighs> like, they wouldn't even do, like, a slow, like, 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 they wouldn't, like, you know, they wouldn't do that shit. They just like, boom. They would just fucking like turn, like just fucking boom, like thriller, you know, like bam. And they'd go toward the can for a little bit. And then he'd have to throw another fucking can. And then they'd go towards the can. And they'd throw another one and they'd get farther from him. And then he'd have to crouch and then. And I remember we were kids. So we thought that if we talked in real life, they would fucking hear us. <laughs> so during the whole fucking playthrough, we were like. Hey, bro, shut your fucking mouth, bro. Don't say shit. Hey, hey, shut the fuck up. Shh. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I can hear you. And I'm like, you know, as kids, you get so into it, you're just like, hey, don't make a noise. Shut up. Shh. So I remember that was fucking funny as hell. My dad would come in and he'd be like, you guys are a bunch of pussies. And my dad was one of those type of dads that he thought he was. Like, I'll give it to my dad. He's, he's a badass. But, you know, he, he thought he was a badass. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's those type of dads. That's like kind of a cocky dad, but a cool dad. And he'd come in and he'd be like, you guys are a bunch of pussies, man. Are you guys not going to pass the level or what? It fucking takes you 40 minutes to fucking get there. He's like, I would have done that shit in 10 seconds. And we just look at him like, bro, who the fuck even called you, dog? Like, go in the other room and do something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those dads. Like, you love your dad. You love your dad no matter what. But I'm saying, like, he was one of those dads that's like, like, bro, I get it, bro. Like, you a badass. And then I remember my cousin was like, all right, deal. And you fucking play it. Let's see. You're a badass. And he's like, give me that shit. And my dad would fucking play it, and he fucking, <laughs> he was like, what am I supposed to do? And then, he wasn't scared, right, because he's an adult and shit, so, like, he, to him, it was kind of stupid. And then, we'd be like, this is, the, like, we would grab the remote, and we'd be like, this one you move, this one you crouch, you know, like, th this is this. You know, we'd show him, and then he'd go, okay, cool, what's the running button? And I'm like, okay, well, if you hold this down, and then you move forward, my dad would just fucking haul ass through the levels, like, the nurse part, like, it took us, like, fucking two days to beat it. It took my dad, like, two minutes to beat it. Because it was literally just trying to get through one hallway to the next, to the next, to the next. My dad just hauled ass to the side of the hall, and he was just like... 
And like my dad would make funny comments down the way. So he'd be like, oh, stupid bitches. And then the next door he'd be like, man, y'all fucking suck. And then that's why they're fucking blind. And he, like, me and my cousin are just like, did he just, did he just fucking do the whole level for us? And then he made it to the end, but he didn't know that those type of games, you need to go back and pick up fucking keys and key cards and shit to get to the next fucking level. So <laughs> I remember he was like, there, I fucking did it. I got you guys to the end of the door. And then we were like, yeah, but you forgot like key cards, keys. He's like, oh, fuck that shit. He's like, he threw the remote back. He goes, I took you guys to the end. It's time for you guys to look for all that key card bullshit. And he like walks off like all badass. And I was like, my dad's a dick. My cousin was like, because <laughs> it was like, nah, dude, your dad's a badass, bro. For him just to pull that shit off out of nowhere. <laughs> He's like, we can't even fucking move two inches without screaming like little bitches. And I was like, bro, he thinks he's cool, but he ain't cool, bro. You know, because when your dad does something cooler than you, you just kind of admit it that he'd be cooler. So I was just like, nah, I'm not going to fucking say he's cooler. Um, Damn, I ranted on a little bit too long. Sorry. I really miss horror games. I really wish I could play a new scary game. I wish there was new scary games. Or I wish I could stream off on my Switch, dude. You know how fun it'd be if you guys could all play on my Switch? It'd be cool to get my little brother, my girlfriend, my other brother, and we could play like Mario Party or some shit. You know? We're all just fucking around. I don't know. But damn. That was, that's been that's been a good enough rant, I guess. Uh, laugh out loud worth it. You think so? I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I should do a podcast and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just talk about random shit, but... I never fucking get around to it, which pisses me off, because I really should do a podcast. Um, <laughs> fuck, I don't, think, I don't think I can do a podcast. That'd be stupid as shit, man. What the fuck would I talk about? Um, no, but yeah, I mean, I, I really do miss... I miss some fucking... I really do miss scary games, like, on some real shit. Sorry, I got a notification on my phone. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Sorry if I kind of uh, went off on a little comedy bit there. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Come on, I was expecting like a thing. Life a lot of make questions, talk about stuff. Go out with friends, make videos, interviews with friends. That'd be fun as shit. But you know what? I would love to catch my friends while they're working. <laughs> to put the pressure on, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just show up at their job and be like, oh, Can I interview you really fast? Dude, I'm at work right now. What the fuck are you doing? Well, I just need you to answer a couple questions. The boss comes like, shut the fuck up, right? It's customer service. He's helping me with something. Oh, that'd be great just to catch people off guard and shit. I think Ruben works at a call center. It'd be so funny if I could get to that call center. Whose cutie is that? Oh, thanks, babe. Stop it. You're making me blush. Um, <laughs> it'd be funny. You know, imagine Ruben at a call center. He's like, hello. And I just fucking boom, hang up on his phone and shit. All everybody's looking at me. What the fuck is this kid doing in the building? Quick question, sir. Sir, I need you to step. I need you to step the fuck out of the camera. You're missing up my shot. <laughs> Quick question. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, no, no, but I'm gonna go live tomorrow for sure. I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna go live. Uh, and this is a promise, okay? Because I'm off tomorrow. I have nothing to do. Um, more than likely, there'll be a morning stream. I'll probably do Spider Man. Uh, man, kind of want to do Spider Man. Maybe I can start off Batman. Batman, where are they? I could probably do Batman. No, because I haven't even finished Spider-Man or God of War, bro. I gotta stay on one game. That's my issue, bro, is that I just want to jump to different games. Damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't leave yet, because I want to make sure you guys know what I'm about to do. You know what I'm saying? Like... Did I leave it? I know it's somewhere in my social media accounts on here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck, I know it's somewhere on here. I'm so dumb when it comes to the fucking iPhones. Mm 
Don't know where I left it. I know I downloaded it somewhere. Fuck it. I guess I'll try to bring it up next time. Mm. Fuck, fuck. Sorry, guys. I thought I had it. Did I delete it? I think I might have deleted it. Fuck yeah, I think I deleted it. That's my bad. But, uh, I want you guys to vote. You know what I'm saying? Because tomorrow what I can do is I can do like a, like, an, like a live podcast in the morning. You know, just talk about random shit while I play a video game. But I feel like I gotta play an online game where it's not something that's too important that cut off the story. You know, kind of like a story time. I said I was gonna do story time. But I need a game where I can do story time. Something that's not gonna be distracting where I can just play something online. I just don't have anything that's online where I can like... Oh, yes I do. Oh, you know what I can do? I can play Shadow of War online. Like, just trying to take out, like, towers and shit. Battlefront 2 with friends. Dude, I can do Star Wars. I can play Star Wars Conquest and then just talk about some random shit. I need to get a good online game where I can just talk random crap. You know, and I'm gonna have to just name it Storytime. Slash podcast where you guys can ask me questions and we can go off of that shit. I just need a good fucking solid game where I can do it. Because if I do Spider-Man, it's too distracting, the story. I'm just going to be like, oh shit, let me, you know, and, and online, it's just get ready for the next round. Okay, cool, let's go. You know, you just keep shooting or doing whatever you got. I really need to buy a good online game. Like, I need like a like a Battlefield or a Call of Duty or, or, or no, not Call of Duty. I don't like Call of Duty. I grew out of Call of Duty when I was not an 18-year-old kid, so I don't play fucking Call of Duty anymore. No disrespect to people that play Call of Duty. I just don't like Call of Duty anymore. I think they fucked it up for me. I just need a good online... Fuck, maybe I can ask one of my buddies to let me borrow one. I feel like somebody has Battlefield. Or I can just do Star Wars Battlefront. But it's because I get my ass kicked in that game, fool. Like, when they're Jedis and shit, and they're fucking... <laughs> fucking turn into fucking sushi, dog. I don't like the Jedis in fucking Battlefront. They're too OP, dog. And I get it. That's just what they're supposed to do, but... Bro, I walk in a room and it's like force push and like fucking a hundred of us are like, you know, and they score like a shitload of points and you're like, bitch, what the fuck? And then my Jedi, every fucking time we get a Jedi on my team, they fucking suck. I'm like, bro, you're fucking Yoda, dude. Like, fuck them up. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it, but I'll probably do like Red Dead Online. I don't know. I don't know. Cowboy shit. Talking about a cowboy one fucking blasting people. Uh, maybe. Huh. I have to see. Laugh out loud. Now you got me thinking. About what? What are you thinking about? <gasps> what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? I gotta see. I think I, ha I, think I might have some games in my library for my PlayStation Store days. Store days? <laughs> Calm the fuck down, bitch. You ain't privileged. The fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking trip. The game's for you. The games for me? Oh, you want your games back or what? Because I'm not done yet. If I can borrow them for a little bit longer. I'm sorry if I'm taking long to upload them. Um, I'm trying to go through my... Can you check what games I have? Like like on the PlayStation app where I don't have to like close you guys out completely so you guys don't lose sight of me? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Communities. Communities. Games. Is that games? Does that show me what I have? No, it's just trying to sell me expensive games. How do I check my library? Like, I want to check my library, but I don't think it lets you on your phone. Games, PlayStation accessory, PlayStation Plus. Maybe on the plus side it will. And then it should be under your published section. I mean, not published, under your uh, purchase section. No, I don't know how to do it on my PlayStation, on my PlayStation app at all. Kind of dumb when it comes to this stuff. Well, that's my friends list, events, guest login, redeem. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. No, it won't show me. Oh, shit, I pressed something. Oh, no, okay, never mind. We're good. Left one I know, like, so you can play, but, like, podcast. Oh, I feel you, like, just talk over it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something where I can just talk over it, and it's not important. 
You know what I mean? Where I can just kind of like chill a little bit, take some shots and shit. Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'll, I'll see what I'll see what I can find out or see what I can get off the top of my head. Um, I'm pretty sure I can come up with something. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I can come up with something. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I know this video wasn't like a big thing where like a lot of people showed up, but like I said, I'm just doing this for fun. Um, I know a lot of you guys are missing the whole like horror vibe that we used to have going on where we just played nothing but scary games and shit. Um, I'll see if I can find some scary games, you know, maybe that, uh, Layers of Fear that Angel was talking about. I might see if I can do that one. Um, I'll look into it. Um, and I'll, and I'll, I'll go through the PlayStation Store tonight and see if I can't find, um, see if I can't find, like, some, uh, some more scarier games on the PlayStation. Um... That way, when I do find them, we can pretty much... Whoa, didn't anymore. I cut that? I thought I was going to cut that and get that. Uh, I'll, like I said, tonight I'll look more into the PlayStation Store, see if I can't find any scary games. If I find any horror games, I'll send them to you. There's another one, but I can't remember the name. You know which one you did tell me about? And I'm such an idiot that I forgot because I really wanted to play it. You told me about a kid with a teddy bear. And, I, and, I, and it, it's, it doesn't look scary, like, but it looks kind of like one of those, like, holy shit, like, you gotta be careful, like, yo, like, don't. It's a kid, and I think the teddy bear talks. Because I think his mom gets kidnapped or something like that, and the teddy bear's like his, like, his guardian, like, he comes to life. Take some shots. Take some shots of what? <laughs> what are you talking about, babe? You're confusing me. Um. Fuck, I'm Oh, wait. I think Angel put take some shots, didn't she? Angel wasn't paying attention. And I think she put take some shots. <laughs> she's Angel's gonna get fucking turned up while she's looking for fucking horror games. <laughs> she's gonna be on Instagram live. Ooh, it's among it's among this. There you go, among the sleep. Fuck, I'll just go back. I'll just write it down right now because I know I'm gonna forget. I gotta look this shit. Oh, my kneecap is broken. My kneecap is fucking broken. I don't know what happened, guys, but I fucked up my knee so bad. Like it's fucked up. Like my knee hurts. Among the sleep. Okay, cool. I gotta look into that one because I I gotta start saving up some cash so I can get some like. Some like new little digital downloads and shit. Cause I think most of the new digital. Oh wait, me better than Um, I feel like the new digital downloads are a little bit better now. Like that one, I'm to sleep. I was looking at, it, I was like, oh, that's fucking interesting as shit. Uh, I know. I just need new horror games. That's all I need. I saw, and I I don't know if you guys want me to. Now here's here's the thing. Just just keep your minds open. I know I'm trying to I know I'm trying to end this as fast as I can, but I just can't. Okay, it's been a while. I haven't talked to you guys. Um. You guys remember I played Emily Wants to Play? Yeah, it turns out there's a fucking part two. So, uh, I don't know if you guys want to see that one. Uh, I, I, I know your ears aren't going to hurt anymore because I got, got this guy. Because uh, <laughs> I know I fucked up some ears during that period. Um, I can do Emily Wants to Play. Ugh. I can do Emily Wants to Play part two. It's a little bit different. You're in a toy factory this time where they make fucking dolls. Um, you know, that one would be sick. Emily, do it left or not? Okay, well, yeah, of course you want to see me do it. Emily wants to play part two. Uh, and you know what, Kevin? I think I might have to, honestly, I think this is the time, bro. I'm going to have to ask you to lend me your VR headset because um, you know which game I really want to do live for people. That's going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. What do you guys think? Because it's coming to the PlayStation Store. I don't know if you guys saw that. Five Nights at Freddy's. Imagine me doing that shit with the VR headset, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, five. I'll buy it, but. Five Nights at Freddy's. Laugh out loud when, dude. <laughs> Let me find out when it comes out and I'll text you. Because I don't want to borrow it. And then I have it for, like, fucking the next three months. Because the game doesn't come out yet. And then I'm like, fuck, this dude can't play his VR headset. Um, but yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's is coming to the PlayStation. I wish they just did it, like, 
where it wasn't VR, you know, where you can just kind of like switch between cameras and see what the fuck is going on. You know, I wish they did it that way, not the whole VR fucking setup, but I mean, it's cool, whatever. I mean, if VR will see, I, I feel like it'll be fun doing VR, you know what I mean? But um, I was looking at that, and when I saw it come out on PlayStation, like, because they're doing the state of play, when I saw that, they were like, oh, and introducing Five Nights at Freddy's for the PlayStation, and I was like, yo, like, for real, for real? Like, no, no fucking way. And then I was like, oh, and then they showed gameplay. Like, not gameplay, but like, you know how they do those cool cinematic things where the where the where the camera like it does that pan motion of like like that and then you would see like freddy's feet and then you would see like the like the fucking uh, like the animatronic standing still like you know and shit like that and then you were like what the fuck they're gonna do it and then like closer to the end they show you it's vr because the guy's like he like puts it on like it's like and then the little message comes on and it's like Hey, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Thank you for participating on being a security guard. Uh, make sure you just keep on the cameras. Don't worry. Nobody's ever died here. And then the cool music starts. And then it's like, you can hear him breathing hard. And he's like, and he like puts on the helmet. And then he like turns this way. And then the fucking monster's coming. He turns on a light, scares him away and shit. And I was like, oh, it's VR though. I was like, oh, that sucks. Um, but like I said, I, I got to end this hard. VR makes me want to throw up. I feel like it's going to make me throw up. My girlfriend can't even stand to look at games like this without VR. Imagine if I put a VR headset on her, dude, I'd probably kill my poor girlfriend. She'd probably be dead. She'd probably be fucking dead. But you know how badass her tombstone would come out? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did your girlfriend die? <laughs> she died like a fucking champ. How? Playing VR games? Bro, respect. <laughs> um, poor Dana left. <laughs> she gets dizzy as shit. And, I, like, there's times when we play video games, like, she'll fucking throw it down and shit, but... I can tell after a while her head starts to hurt and I'm like, okay, let's take a break. You know what I mean? And then she's like, I don't know how you can play for hours and hours. And I'm like, it's just something I've been doing since I was a kid. Like, I have VR gameplay so you can see what we will see. Okay, yeah, I'm fucking down for that. Okay, I'm, I'm down for that. I'd love to see what you see. Um, No, but yeah, I mean, I try to play with Dana so much and it's like, because it, it, we'll play like the Lego games. I know I've told you guys that before. Like, we'll play the Lego games together. And that still gets her dizzy because you know how the screen cuts like in half and it'll start doing this motion like following the players. So like one player's up here and the other one's down here. But if like this player goes up here, the camera starts doing this. Like it'll do that split screen effect. So it gets her dizzy and I can tell like she'll fucking toughen it out like a soldier because I'll see her. She'll be like. And I'll just be like, oh shit, we got to stop. Let's take a break. Let's let's go eat a little bit of food and then we come back. You know what I'm saying? You need, you need, you need some calcium. That doesn't make any sense. Um, but, uh, other than that, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's pretty much it. That's all cut up to speed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> I need to find something to stream tomorrow. I feel like doing story time. I really do feel like doing story. Ask him what he does to me with Netflix. Oh my God. Um, I'm, I don't know. Okay. Do you watch? I don't know if any of you guys watch uh, Netflix, but, uh, this is just something I can do. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people can do it. It's not some like scale or some shit. But she needs to, when she's going through Netflix, and you know how you're scrolling to see the next episode. Not, not the next episodes, but, like, you know how you're scrolling through the bars, and it, it, it says, like, like for example, you know, like, new friend, and then, like, well, seasons one through seven, you can change over, and then there's a movie, and then episodes a movie, movie, movie. But you have to, like, stop, read it, and then stop, read it, you know, still like that. Dana has to, like, stop. She reads the title. I don't want to see it, and then she'll go to the next one. She reads the title, she stops, reads the title, and goes to the next one. Me, though, I can scroll through that bitch fast as fuck, and I can read every single title that's coming on. Laugh out loud, yeah, I can do that without stopping. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly what I'm talking about. My girlfriend cannot do that. She gets fucking pissed, and she gets dizzy. She doesn't get mad, like, I don't want you to be like, stop fucking doing that. She's just like, yo, like, can you not do that? Like, I'm getting a headache. And I'm like, it's just so easy to read. And then she'll be like, you can't even read it. I'm like, yeah, look, watch. And I'll scroll through and I'm like, too fast, too furious, blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, okay, fine, well, because uh, I think we were going to watch a show. And I remember where the show was at because I passed it on the second run. So I hit, I held the button down and it was just scrolling fast. And my eyes were just like. And then she was like, you're not going to be able to get it. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh, boom. And then I stopped at the movie and I clicked it and I was like, what's up? No, I do get mad. Yeah, but you don't get mad like Psycho Mad, okay? Like, there's a difference between Psycho Mad and, like, mad, okay? Um, but, yeah, I, I can do... I love doing that. I just... 
Netflix to me is like, oh, all it's like is, and I always, I, my excuses play a lot of video games, so it's just one of those things where I, I just fucking fit, can do without having to fucking struggle with my eyeballs. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, I, that we have to call it, yo, it's getting too fucking late, bro, it's two hours of me just talking. Um, for sure, for sure, tomorrow I will stream. Gotta get a game where I can actually do my little podcast and talk to you guys and just make jokes and stuff like that where we can just talk about a subject. Um, so I'll, I'll look into it, see if I have anything hiding in the old storage system of my PlayStation. Um, and other than that, guys, I will see you all later. Okay, good night, sweet dreams. Don't let these weird elf guys come out and get you at night because they are fucking hard to kill. Unless your dad is Kratos, then I fully recommend that you go out and explore because you will be safe and you will be okay. Uh, other than that, do you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns? You have 10 seconds. Shit, I did more than 10 seconds. It's okay, whatever. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.